in the uh, English translations. This is Leviticus 5.11. I mean, we could do an hour just on this. It says, uh, on to 13, it says, But if he is not able to bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons, then he who sinned shall bring for his offering one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour as a sin offering. He shall put no oil on it, nor shall he put frankincense on it, for it is a sin offering. Then he shall bring it to the priest, and the priest shall take his handful of it as a memorial, a memorial portion and burn it on the altar according to the offerings made by fire to Jehovah. It is a sin offering. This is verse 13. In mind, the priest shall make atonement for him. Now, let me just read. Somebody say atonement. Atonement. We have fine flour. It is a sin offering. The priest shall make atonement for him for his sin that he has committed in any of these matters, and it shall be forgiven him. The rest shall be the priests as a grain offering. Now, this is undoubtedly one of the most controversial things that we have to talk I'm about. I'm going to leave the program. Keith, I'm going to leave. The, you can't no, go I anywhere. Can't, hey, you can't, can't. You can't bring this up and then walk away. I can't be on this program right no, now. Are you Keith, kidding me? I you, mean, this is it. Well, we're, no, 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 because you know we've been told over and over again. You and I, in our tradition, what we've been told consistently, consistently, Keith. It's at least with me. It's been hammered. You know, so many times there is no atonement for sin without the shedding of blood. Wow. Now, now can you bring? In, is there a New Testament verse to confirm that, Keith? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's finally scared away the Methodist. Yes, this will be an exclusive Tommy and Gordon only with Joe Novandor. Woo! I finally got my own show. <laughs>